Hello everyone and welcome to another Unifiber Tech Talk video. Today we're going to be talking about our modular boom head and the science and physics behind how it works. So we're going to break down the four major factors that go into the boom head. Uh, we're going to go into the stiffness, the pinpoint pressure, the sideways support and the safety as well. Okay, so let's start with the stiffness then. So stiffness comes from three main areas on your boom. So the first is the way that the boom head itself connects with the body on the mount of the boom. So the channels and the ribs line up really nicely and once it's slipped into place, there's no clearance between the two. So there's no play in the boom head at all which means there is a lot of stiffness there. The second way is the fact that the combination of the boom body and the mount itself is very wide, which means that the load distribution is much better so that when you've got lots of power in the sail, there's no play at all there. And then finally, the third reason is the fact that the collars are also very wide. So what this means is that when you attach the boom head to the mast, the mast has curvature, so that when you attach the two collars, it actually clamps closer and you can see that the head of the boom gets even tighter, which again only increases the stiffness. Okay, so let's dive into pinpoint pressure and what that is exactly. So on a boom head with a single collar, it can't actually follow the natural curvature of the mast, so there ends up being a lot of pressure on the two sides. And this can actually result in a lot of wear and tear on your mast over time. So what we've done is we've added the two slightly thinner collars, um, but they're wider apart. So what this means is that the mast curvature can flow around uh, the boom head and as a result gives a much better connection and distributes the load a little bit better. So we have used slightly more flexible but equally as tough material so that then the load can be distributed better and the boom head can follow the natural curvature of the mast much more easily. The third thing I mentioned was sideways support. So what do I actually mean by this? This is the play that the boom has up and down. You might find this a lot in a single collared boom head. When it starts to become loose, you can kind of get a little wiggle room there. This boom head doesn't allow this because as the sailor has power in the sail and starts to harness it, naturally the sail will bend, which actually then puts more pressure on the collars on the outside, which will then close the clamp even more. This will then completely eliminate any of that up and down motion and your boom head will be nice and stiff, stable, and will not move up and down at all. The final thing I mentioned is the safety, and this is just a byproduct of having two clamps. Like it sometimes happens to us, your in-haul rope can break, and this can happen on any boom head. But the perfect thing about having two collars is the fact that you've got a backup one still working to help you get back to the beach. Now, if the top one did snap, then I would recommend taking the boom head off in the water, which is very easy to do, and just simply flipping it upside down so that the old bottom clamp now becomes the top clamp. And this can be a lifesaver to get you back to the beach. Within the Unifiber range, we have our three categories. We have the Essentials, the HD, and the Elite. All of these come with the RDM SDM adapters. The Elite and the HD come with the performance bolts, which actually give 10 to 15% more stiffness to the boom head. And the Elite then upgrades its rope to Dyneema rope to give you the best performance possible. So that's it guys now for the boom head. We hope you learned something new in this video. If you want to learn more about the boom head, you can head over to our website, unifiber.net. And if you like this video, we have lots of similar ones over on our YouTube channel, so you can ask us questions there. Thanks so much for watching the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.